No. Oh, we're here and stepping out. We're going to go up. This, uh, our 40 footer is such a better experience than the 20 footer. Look, there's a little frog right there, Leah. Thank you. That's our good luck. <laughs> Leah wants some good luck. So it's sundown. So uh, I hated the 20 footer. As a man who's lived in a life, I would uh, struggle to uh, live in a 20 footer. These spiral staircase up here, which are very tight, I mean, I'm, I'm not obese. Was it? How sweet. All right. So this is a wooden deck built on top. I like it. You like it? Like Mine it. will be poured concrete. I like it a lot. Oh, would be faster yeah, it would be, but I'm building a thousand year house. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot. I would be in it if I would have just, you know, went and got eighth inch ply, uh, you can actually get drywall that doesn't have an edge with a plint on it. Put it together and put batting between it and you're done. But um, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but so, if you did something like this, you'd have it done way quicker. Way quicker. But, um, but that's, that's, I took a look at my videos and a year ago uh, in July is when I moved out there. Yeah. So I haven't been there a full year. So... Here's Leah and I. We're sitting up here now. This is uh, this is much more pleasant. Our first at uh, the twenty footer, the AC was broken. Right there was yeah. a no non start for me. Yeah. Right, very disappointed in that. And um, but even that then, if the AC had worked, I don't think I would have been satisfied. It had a pull out bed. Never in my life do I want to deal with a pull out bed. That's too much modularization, right? It was. Um it felt like you were claustrophobic because your head was there. Now, you could have slept the other way, but I did not like it at all. It was not yeah. very good. Yeah. In addition, the bed was right next to the main windows and for the doors, and moisture was already built up. So it felt a little uh, unclean, to be honest, mm -hmm. to just to have that condensation dripping right next to you all night long. I mean, I, I wouldn't want it. And you were right underneath it. Air and you were right underneath the air conditioner. All the Legionnaires, right? I mean, that's and that air conditioner does not. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a small one, it did not cool the whole thing. It did not. So there, it was a broken AC, which we've seen many splits. Now this mini split, we walked in immediately. Whole different thing. Forty foot felt adequate for me. I can live in a forty foot. My forty foot's even wider, yeah. even bigger. The bathroom is not a little galley box bathroom it's, like you see in here. Yeah. It's a full bathroom that you pass through, Jack and Jill. And I made it with the sliding walls. And I prefer that. But that's I, I how do this too. one is. It's a. It's like right. It in the is the but. The, it's not all bathroom. There's not a full bathtub in there, and there's a full bathtub in mine. It doesn't feel real crowded when it's in there. It honestly doesn't. Built-in cabinets made a difference. Um, a lot of smart upgrades that I did in that. But um, swiveling back around on this thing, uh, compared to how I was an hour ago, which was very upset, now I'm feeling much more... Um, Happy. Especially if I'm not charged for this upgrade, because really, they shouldn't have stuck us in a broken, a broken Airbnb. I think it was broken. Okay. Uh, yeah, we both, we both suspect that maintenance or the maids or somebody knew that that didn't work, the clean, right? The cleaning crew had. To had when you walk in and it's it some, 85. it's stuffy and it's 85. People aren't going to walk out of a building like that. I mean, just take a moment, turn it on, right? And, Oh, also this one had candies, and it, it had the bed, bed was nice. The other one didn't have a bed already set up, but it had candies. This one felt like it was well, ready this for a human one being. Also had, you know, the bathroom stuff. It had the complimentary. Hey, if you forgot your toothbrush or whatever. The other one was like, he just threw everything together. Oh, the someone's coming. Let's hurry up. Or we're we're fully booked. Let's do the broken one. Maybe. So. Maybe it, it, it's possible. So uh, you know, the, I mix in shipping container design, and I love this rooftop. Yes, I, do. I, I could. When the, I, we get a rooftop, and I'll measure these rails. I bet you they're forty inch high. Uh, but listen, we're sitting down to look through them, and my our design will have these will be Adobe. So maybe I need to stop Adobe at the top here and do rail. I see that she can wiggle the 
she can wiggle the thing. Wiggle it again, Leah. You could fall over. Someone could well, you push yeah, that? Yeah, people could. It's got the lag bolt again, but um, you see how this is just a deck built on top? Mine's going to be poured concrete. You're not going to wiggle crap on mine. Uh, but all that just takes time. But this one's more secure because it has the... It's the corner post. Yeah. I bought these aircraft cables. Did you know that? What they have there? So if I'm sitting here and this was a uh, an adobe wall, that would be unsatisfying. You can't see. No. So this is a good design thing for me to see that. Um, what I need to do, if I'm going to do an adobe wall, I need to do it like yay high for the water to collect the water and shuttle it. And then the rest of it with these aircraft cables. They're not bad for my eyes. I'm, not, I'm forgiving. I'm looking right through them. That is one busy road right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a country road, so it's getting dark. But uh, uh, we'll see when I edit this up because how, how I gave a one out of ten to the very first one we walked into, mostly because of the air. Because I'm work all day in the air, and um, I was super disappointed. And Leo is trying to pick me up, and and she just couldn't. And she can usually pick me up. So I felt bad for her. I stomped all over her because I was so upset. And uh, But this changing to this one um, has, made, has made all the worlds different. Now, um, I like the design in there, the clapboard. It felt adequate. It's, uh, and it's so much prettier than the other one. It is so much prettier. Now, it does have an odor, doesn't it? I think the AC, it does. I don't know if they're adequately ventilated. And people have complained about those. When I go in and I walk in, it I'll smells a little like a hotel. It does. It smells a little. But you know hotel. what? Maybe somebody prior smoked in it or did. Something oh, and maybe they had to sterilize exactly. it. We'll see. Exactly. It's hard we'll to get see. smoke out of anything. It is. It so is. I could have been. What happened. But the the rooftop lounge is a win. This is definitely. This is a win. So definitely need to get that done. All right. Wonderful game. Well, you know, even when I build that on Swede, because um. Do we need adobe around? I think I will hire some of that out. When I do the adobe around mine, like they just did clapboard on theirs. Um, it does look good. It yeah. will be amazing with stairs up to it. You know, shipping container homes can be a really good start. Uh, they are awfully small compared to a conventional. 10 by 12 is what everybody's used to. If the house you like is a 10 by 12 bedroom and you love that size bedroom, this is a bit different. It's eight foot by whatever. Like mine's eight foot by tw effectively 20 because I made a huge en suite and I'm a single man and I'm going to have the great hall. The great hall will make it a different house than this. But to just live in this, a bit restricting. Plus, everything had to do double duty. Like uh, check out a short I did on their TV, which has built into a, uh, a Walmart stand, which was only 138. That was super smart. <laughs> but I couldn't figure it out at first. You know, why does everything when you travel have to be hard? Like the water knobs are hard and everything. And But I figured it out, and it's super cool. But everything does double duty inside of a tiny home. And while that's cool at one level, uh, it's not very convenient, nor does it give you everything you want in life. Really, you want your kitchen to be your kitchen. You uh, To double duty it, it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right. Those are just my impressions from this night that we're staying. And I'm glad we stayed, Leah. I'm glad we stayed. I'm glad because um, it did open up a lot of design. It's an experience that you think you know and that you don't know until you experience it. All right. Well, we're back up on top of the uh, shipping container, the 40-footer. And uh, sunrise is coming up. I think it's going to come up that way. Now, I thought that that was north, though. But I'm a little turned around. So we think that these are part of the uh, heritage homes, which is probably a religious thing. And little, she looked like a little Pentecostal girl or an Amish yeah. girl came and helped helped us last night. Because our original home we were in didn't have AC, and I told them I couldn't do that. So uh, impressions. All right. So when I first got here and uh, the twenty footer, I told Leah. I said I I just I was really disappointed really disappointed and it wasn't just because the AC didn't work the size of a 20 footer where everything was a compromising especially the bed was too much for me right mm -hmm. 
So my impressions. This is southeast. <clears throat> oh, that's south? Okay. This is east. East. Northeast. Well, you can sort of see the sunrise. This is northwest. All right. North is straight up. Uh -huh. So this particular, um, I, I'm going to call it a compound, which you shouldn't do in Waco. What would you call it? Campus. How about that? This campus, really nice. And I'm not getting a, any kind of vibe out of it that, oh, danger, danger. I'm getting it. These are nice people is what I'm getting at. But uh, nonetheless, when I first showed up, and then we've, I've been burned in Airbnb before. So you know, once they get your money, then you're and then you're in trouble. So anyway, when they let us in, oh, and the door didn't work when we first got here, which is not the first time that I've showed up somewhere and the door doesn't work. So right away you start out with, it's too small, right? When you pull up, you know, like, oh, I made a mistake. And two, when the door doesn't let you in, you're like, oh, but anyway, they let us into it. And uh, then I was like, oh my God, maybe the Airbnb only only pays if the door is accessed or something. So I had all of this stuff going on in me. But I was very profoundly unhappy. I really was. So, uh, but anyway, they, they worked it all out. And I said, do you have anything else that actually, the air works? And I wanted a bigger, that's the other thing. I thought I was renting a 40-footer. That Listen, they, I didn't read the description. It's all on me. It's all on me. But uh, it was good for me to get the experience of what's too small. So if you're, um, you need to stay in a shipping container if you're going to build a shipping container home because maybe eight foot wide by 40 foot's too small for you. That's a possibility. But my impression in the morning, I slept great. Uh, just my impression of the build of this particular container and everything was really a uh, very good, very good night's sleep. I was impressed with the build. Uh, I like everything about this rooftop except those little narrow stairs. Now I'll have. Yeah, because it's it's. Oh, they're really narrow. It's my arm. Look at this. It's they're the, really, really It's the narrow. width of my arm. And it's a little scary to go down. To be honest, that's how scary it is. Um, I'll have those for fire escape, Leo, up on the back of the house. But the main stairs will this be is scary. three foot wide conventional stairs up with a walkout onto the mezzanine. Yeah. a little scary down here is it a little scary so uh, but the pecan tree is cool we're going to try to pick some of the pecan nuts out of there we don't know if they'll age or not but uh, this is a really good design the other thing i learned is what you know i was planning to build an adobe style house which the adobe wall would be up um, the 40 inches for the safety rail the problem with that is when you sit down if that was an adobe wall now you suddenly you can't see right where this um aircraft cable you can see through so this is a better design than i have so i might end up doing like a 18 inch adobe wall with aircraft cable on top of that which might be a little bit easier you know what i wonder if it would have made a difference if that's a small 20 inch but it's a different design yeah the door's in the middle of it well, the door's in the middle of this one. But it wasn't on that one. Oh, the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do I see. I wonder if that would have made a difference as mm. to how. Where would you put a bed inside of a 20 foot by five, 7 foot? There's no room for bed. Yeah, 20 foot's too small for me. Hands down, hands down. And, uh, but uh, this worked out real well. Let me take a look at some of the design. So they uh, did the same thing I I'm going to do. They just welded angle iron onto it and then bolted things on. But see how it starts rusting right away? So, you know, you have to treat everything all the time. So By doing the uh, earth bag, if I end up doing it, we'll find out. This year it's going to get painted, but it, uh, the adobe around it, Eventually, I'm expecting the shell to rust out in a thousand years, but the adobe to still stand. So that'll be somebody else's problem. But maybe it won't because maybe it'll be wrapped and it'll just last for forever. Again, Model T's are 120 years old, and uh, there's 200. You find steel in the ground, core 10 steel, that's you know 400 years old. You find it 500 years. They're digging them out of the lakes, right? So. I think that it'll last for forever, a thousand years. So, really like the design here. 